okay, well, I study volcanoes uh, for a living, and as I said before, I use volcanoes as a window into the deep earth. I want to know what's happening at depth. Uh, so the big difference, uh, in my perspective, for, between the inside of the planet and up here on the surface where we live is pressure, and pressure changes everything. Um, this device here is called a piston cylinder, and the piston cylinder is capable of uh, taking a sample up to pressures of about four gigapascals. Okay, what's a gigapascal? Gigapascal is about four orders of magnitude higher pressure than you're under right now. A gigapascal is uh, 10,000 uh, bars of pressure, okay? And so this is like a crusher, kind of like, imagine Cleveland, we're stamping carb bumpers here with this. These two big rams come together and squish stuff to high pressures essentially. So what do I put in here? What are the parts that go in here? Um, this is called a bomb. We've got a hole in this bomb here and down this hole I drop uh, appropriately named the charge and uh, this is like a little Russian doll assembly of lots of little parts. So um, this holds my sample together and in fact you can see here there's uh, some graphite right here, and that's going to act like a resistance heater, kind of like how your hair dryer works. We're just passing electrical current through this. It's going to get really, really hot and actually melt the rocks inside. And the actual samples um, are inside a tiny little capsule like this, okay, that's deeply buried inside of here, inside of our heater, and it's all going to get squished and compressed, melted and pressurized simulating the conditions underneath a volcano. Okay, so what am I putting in there? What we have at the surface, uh, the kind of things that are coming out of uh, our Eya Flatyoka volcano in Iceland right now, um, are volcanic samples. You know, in this vial here, uh, I have a bunch of volcanic, volcanic glass. You can see um, this is what volcanic glass or the volcanic ash that's getting in these jet turbines that's wreaking all this havoc over Europe um, is when we have the interior of the Earth, the Earth's mantle, melts and that melt is erupted and turns into glass, okay? And that mantle looks like this. It's totally gorgeous, guys. I mean, we have beautiful olivines here. We have clinopyroxene in these samples of the mantle that are also brought up by volcanoes. I've sliced it here so you can kind of see um, these big, beautiful green minerals that fill the inside of our planet. I can put something like this inside of my press, melt it, pressurize it, and generate the kinds of materials that come out of volcanoes. And in doing so, I'm trying to understand the process. What's down at depth? How does it melt? How does that make volcanoes? How do those products interact with our atmosphere and create the world we see all around us?